What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. This your boy, Jay, to the R. Now, check it out. In 2024, you can get some of the best deals on the older equipment. Now, I had someone mention in the comment that they buy all the stuff now that they couldn't afford back in the day. That is a very smart and good idea because what you will find out, the converters aren't that much different than what they were then. The sound quality is amazing still to this day. And a lot of times we've already talked about it. People don't even really care that much about sound quality anyway. So why not go back and use some of this old equipment that you may have stored up in, in your house somewhere or that you've been dying to purchase anyway. You can get it dirt cheap. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the Digi Design Command 8 and how you can still use it today in Pro Tools 2024. You heard it right, 2024. So let's dive right into that. Now, for those that don't know what the Command 8 is, this is DigiDesign, which, well, Avid, which used to be DigiDesign, one of the premier home studio controllers. Everybody wanted a controller that had motorized faders, but who could afford this stuff unless you were really, really serious about it? And as you can see, I've had mine for a while, and I just decided to pull it back out because I like buttons, I like faders, I like knobs because I am old school, but that's neither here nor there. And like I said earlier, we are rocking Pro Tools 2024 and it still works. Now the most difficult part of this whole thing is finding the drivers. And the reason is Avid no longer supports their legacy hardware or software either. So you're gonna have a very, very difficult time finding the drivers. But if you decide to go this route, I do have the driver for the Command 8. And I also have the driver for the Digi 003 and the Digi 002. This audio interface still sounds amazing. Although I'm not using it right now, it still sounds amazing. And the caveat to that is you got to have an ADAT connection in your computer. And most people use laptops, but I still use a desktop in here. But back to your regularly scheduled program. So this is the Command 8. You have knobs, features, you got everything you should could possibly need at, in the palm of your hand to control your software. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about as far as um, what you can do with this. So let's bring up the mixer window. Yeah, mm-hmm. So this is the mixer window, right? So watch me move the fader. Uh, the fader works great. Now watch me come over here. Let's adjust the pan. Uh, the pan works great. Absolutely great. So now that we got that, the mutes work. As you can see, the solo work, all of the buttons, all of the features still work in Pro Tools 2024 on this old Command 8 that works flawlessly today. Again, you can get these for dirt cheap on eBay. Dirt cheap, dirt cheap. You can have a pretty sophisticated studio for about $500, $600, $700, $1,000. $1, you can get one of the old schools like uh, Pro Controls for little or nothing if you have that type of space. Now, in order to set this up, it's really, 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 really simple. It's really simple. You just wanna go over here to Setup. And then once you go to Setup, you click on Peripherals. Now, when you go to peripherals, it's already on here. You want to switch to the tab that says MIDI controllers. And right here in this drop down, you will have a selection of the various controllers that are pre set in the software. And there you have Command 8. Now, if you had the old, if you have the old Mac and Huey controller, you would want to use that. Those are, go I mean, you can find those all day long for cheap as well. Now, once you, uh oh, now, once you've found that, then you want to go received from, predefined, command eight. Send to, predefined, command eight, select that. Click OK, and you're all set. Now, if you want to come over here, and let's see here. <clears throat> now, this is the volume uh, automation setup. We'll click play. Now, if you notice, uh, uh, what y'all know about that? Amazing. 
but a lot of people just rather use their mouse. You can do the same thing with the mouse. But I can tell you, when you're recording yourself, it's so much easier just to hit that play, record, play, record, play, record, da, 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 and get stuff done. And if you like fidgeting with your hands, this is the perfect choice. If you're still using Pro Tools, I mean, a lot of people don't even use Pro Tools no more, but Pro Tools is still, still one of the better recording softwares, but definitely not the best overall software, if you know what I mean. But anyway, let me know if you'd like to know more about the Command A or using some of this other older equipment. This your boy. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.